Hi, this is Tyler with TC Brothers. I'm here to talk to you today about XS650 permanent magnet alternator conversion. The Yamaha XS650 is a very popular build platform for choppers, bobbers, street trackers, cafe racers, and a whole variety of different builds. And part of that is due to it was a very high production model, and it's known for its reliability and performance. With that being said, the Yamaha XS650 has a very reliable engine, but if I had to say its biggest weakness is probably its charging system. If you've got a Yamaha XS650, more than likely, if the stock charging components haven't let you down yet, it's just a matter of time before they do. For one, they're already 30 years old, and just the design of how they are with as many moving and wearing parts as they have makes them pretty susceptible to failure. Um, I'll talk about the differences first between the stock charging system and these permanent magnet alternator conversions that we offer. These permanent magnet alternators are probably some of the best money you can spend on your XS650 in terms of reliability and performance. The stock system is an electromagnetic alternator system which means that the rotor that spins, you know, this is attached to your stock crankshaft. It spins inside of the stator housing and it provides the magnetic force for that stator to create the power to charge your battery. The problem with these is that these rotors are not a magnet until they have power applied to them. And a, a charging system that requires power to create power isn't really the best design. And in order to turn these into um, a magnet, they have to have current applied to them at these copper rings. There's an inner ring and an outer ring, and your, and your stock battery actually supplies the power to these rings via these carbon brushes. And these brushes contact the ring, so they contact the outer ring with one brush, and the other brush contacts the inner ring. And as this spins, these brushes wear over time. So this is a wearing part that if they get too short, they eventually lose contact and they can leave you stranded alongside the road. It's just one more maintenance component that the permanent magnet system doesn't have. That's one difference. Another difference is they, on the points ignition models from 1970 to 79, they had mechanical rectifier units, or excuse me, mechanical regulator units. The regulators have a moving set of points in the inside that can wear over time, causing a premature failure of your regulator. So you've got a separate regulator unit, a separate rectifier unit, brushes that wear, and due to the fact that the rotor requires power to run, there's no way that you can ever operate this system without a battery, which a lot of guys building choppers or bobbers or street trackers, you know, to, to eliminate a battery, it's nice to save weight, it's that much less stuff that you have to hide on your build making for a cleaner build. The permanent magnet system, the way that it works differently is the rotor is actually this component here, it's magnetized at all times. It has permanent, permanently charged magnets in it, like this you can see you take a piece of steel and touch it to this, it sticks right to it. So there's no battery power required to make that magnetic force to charge. Little difference between the stock system and this is the rotor actually attaches to the around the stator as opposed to being in the inside. But that's really not a, not a detail that you need to be concerned with because it still all fits underneath your stock covers. Looks like it was a factory installation when you're done. You can't, it's really almost impossible to tell the difference between if you're running a stock system or a permanent magnet system once it's all been installed. It's an easy installation has a bolt-on bracket that already has the mounting bolts and holes and everything that you need to bolt this directly to your bike. No grinding, no cutting, no welding required. All the connectors already have factory style crimps for a plug and play installation. It's the only one on the market that I've seen that way. There's no crimping required by the customer. Makes it super easy. They only plug into the plugs that they need to fit into. And this kit includes detailed mounting instructions that describe Every step of the installation from start to finish makes it as, as easy as possible. A nice improvement compared to the stock regulator and rectifier system is 
these permanent magnet systems come with a solid state uh, regulator and combined rectifier unit. So this one unit replaces both of these units on your stock system with one solid state unit that has no moving parts to wear out on you. So another major advantage of the permanent magnet system is that you can run batteryless uh, compared to stock. If you want to run no battery on your 650, which a lot of guys do, you, can, you do have to still run a capacitor, um, which is very easy to hook up. It hooks up exactly the same as a battery. It's got a positive and negative terminal on the top, makes it super easy to install. It's direct replacement for the battery on these. These are not, avail or these are not included in the kit, but they are available separately on our website. So be sure to check that out to find those. One more thing to note is to, in order to install this kit, you have to remove your stock components. They do require the use of a puller to remove this stock rotor. These are available separately as well on our website. We have the same threads as the rotor. You just screw it on and then you tighten the center bolt to pull that off your, off your crankshaft. There's, there's no real easy way to remove these without that puller. They've got a taper lock fit and even a three jaw or two jaw puller. It's, it's almost impossible to remove these without that special puller. So I highly recommend using that as well. Another really nice feature about these permanent magnet alternator conversions is they're a higher output wattage than stock. This is a 200 watt system, which will have all the power you ever need to run anything your XS650 is ever gonna need. Another important thing to note is that 1980 to 1983 model XS650s came from the factory with a CDI electronic ignition system. So that means you've got a CDI box, says ignition unit on it, and you've got a pickup coil that's actually installed to the stock stator housing of your bike. There's no location for that pickup coil to install on the new rotor or stator housing of these permanent magnet kits. So you can't use your stock CDI ignition with a permanent magnet conversion without converting to a cam timed ignition system, which isn't a big deal. There's cam timed ignitions available for all your XS650s. Um, some popular brands are like Boyer Branston or Pamco, or you even have the option of putting 1970 to 1979 stock points components on your 80 to 83 650, and that solves the problem as well. So there's a lot of options there, but it's just important to note that. And this kit overall to recap is way simpler, a lot less components to wear out, way more reliable and more cost effective than replacing stock components. A lot of these stock components are pretty expensive. I mean, if you have a stator or a rotor failure, you've already spent more money than what this whole PMA kit, or PM, you know, PMA kit costs. So I highly recommend it. If you've got any other questions or you need any more information, feel free to check out our website, tcbros.com.